landing unit and it's a real eye-opener to find out how these shy scientists are contributing to aviation safety. Flights like these take place several times a day in an effort to perfect the fully automatic landing equipment that has been developed here at the Royal Aircraft Establishment. In 10 years progress, progress has got well off the ground. A radio beam transmits instructions to an aircraft on the glide path. Even the final touchdown is fully automatic, a major development in these days when even huge jets still have to rely solely on the pilot's ability for those final few feet. The brain box of it all, the complex mechanical wizard which must take over the pilot's role and carry out ground control instructions. No aircraft has been damaged in over 12,000 experimental landings. Proof indeed that a pilot now has a reliable aid in bad visibility. It's a case when, look no hands, has real safety value. Human error is almost eliminated in this major aviation breakthrough. Civil aviation experts demand a safety figure that allows only for 12 million to one chance disaster. And that's a figure which is helping to make flying safer than being just an ordinary pedestrian. A perfect landing without a hand on the controls. Yet no one can say these scientists are out of touch with aviation progress.